Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this tutorial, we will explore how to upload multiple files from Power App to a SharePoint document library. Today, I will demonstrate how to upload this resume folder to a SharePoint document library. So here we will upload document from this resume folder to our document library resume. Here you can see this is the document library. So let us start. So first we will create one power app. So let me open power app. So we'll create a new uh, blank app. So here I'm selecting blank canvas app. Just type so like multiple document upload. So the first thing we need attachment field control. So we don't have any attachment field in the menu. So we will use a workaround like just select any of your existing SharePoint list. So in our case, what we can do like here, you can see we have one list HR. So I'm just utilize that list only to get the attachment control. So just connect the data source. Just click on add data, click connector, click on SharePoint. Here I'm just choosing employee site. From here, I'm just selecting the HR. Now what I need like I just put one edit form here and I will select that data source HR. So here we will get that control. So let's just copy this one, create a new screen. Like file upload screen. Now just paste that control here. So here you will get some errors. Just remove that. That is fine. Like this you can remove. It's not required actually. Okay. Now uh, we, we will also not regret this screen as well. So let me remove this one. The first screen. Okay. Now the data source also not required. You can remove this as well so now here what we can do like we have to add one more button as an upload control so let me add one button so here let me just increase my screen size so we'll change to upload multiple files so let me just created one button here so now now we have to create one flow so what is the flow requirement is like whenever we need to pass this file to power automate and from the we will add to SharePoint so let me just create one flow so let me save this one first now we will create the flow So we'll create a new flow, click on create. Then we will put in send cloud flow because the trigger is from power app. So let's select power app version two. So here we'll add like upload flow. For specific, you can put like multiple upload flow. So just click on create. Okay. So first thing we have to add the file input control. So let's just click here. Here add input, we will choose the file. Now what we can do, we have to add another trigger like to create the file in SharePoint. So just click on here, add an action. Here we can put like create file. So you can choose from SharePoint create file. 
so here we have to choose our site so in our case it is employee and the folder path is we will choose the resume folder so this is our resume folder the name of the file so this is we need to get from the power app so we will ask like file content name we'll ask from power app also this one file content byte so only this two step is required so just save your flow now we will go to our power app so let's do the rest of thing so he so now in power app we can rename this control as well like we can put something file attachment control so now we can add our flow here so just click on the flow just click on add flow and here just refresh so here you can see your flow name so in our case it is multiple upload flow so just select that so now flow is added successfully so we'll we have to get the files from this attachment control and we need to pass to our flow multiple upload flow so let me like in our so just write your code on the upload multiple file button on select property so here you can see like we are selecting the for all property so from our file attachment control we are selecting each attachment as a document name then here we are passing to our flow like content byte and the name so let us check first our document library so here you can see our library is resume and this is empty now we'll start our power app so just go to play your power app here so this is your resume folder in our local disk so just select your resume files click on open here you can see three files are there just click on upload multiple files so once we click on upload multiple files now we will go to our document library just refresh here here you can see all the files are uploaded successfully